Anyone who is reasonably knowledgeable about horses recognizes that there are numerous risk factors involved in their everyday care. Some risks are minor, others are life-threatening, if not executed with skill and the knowledge of safe and proper management procedures. It is important for farm owners and managers to take the time to assess duties they want performed. Do employees have the knowledge and experience to safely and properly perform the task? An employee training program is a crucial and vital part of any farm program. Time saved by not training employees about proper procedures and equipment use necessary for their job could more than double as downtime when a worker is injured due to a safety violation. Employees should be trained by an experienced, knowledgeable person for all desired equipment and working techniques. Roads and driveways approaching and surrounding stable and storage areas, riding rings, paddocks and pastures should be wide and free from deep ruts and bumps. Vehicular traffic should proceed slowly and with caution. Speed bumps and speed limit signs of 10 miles per hour or slower should be posted and enforced. Overhead wires and tree branches should be of ample height for trucks, vans, trailers, and farm machinery to pass under. Vehicle and trailer parking should be in designated areas only and away from stable areas to ensure that roadways are clear for emergency vehicles. Adequate fire and emergency lanes should be around all facilities. There should be no unnecessary trash or debris lying around the inside or outside of buildings. It is unsightly and attracts rodents can start or aid in spread of fire and could cause a fall or injury to a person or animal. Garbage receptacles should be available for the deposit of refuse, baling twine and wire. Grain storage systems should be rat-proof, weatherproof and not accessible to horses. Hay storage areas should be away from heat and electrical sources and if at all possible in a separate building from where horses are housed. Hay and bedding should be stacked so as not to fall on anyone. Stairways to hay lofts should have handrails and be kept free of slippery substances and clutter. Hay drops and manure pits should be marked as such with signage and fenced off where appropriate. Stables should have lightning rods and be properly grounded. Turnout paddocks and pasture fencing should be sturdy, four to six feet in height and be able to keep horses in and unwanted visitors out. Any protrusion on which horses may become caught should be removed. Fencing material should be appropriate for horses and in good repair. Gates should be a minimum of four feet wide, swing freely, and have no sharp edges or corners. Footing should be free of ruts and well-drained. Paddocks should also be free of debris, machinery, and equipment. Shade and water should be readily available. Entrance ways to stables and aisles should be free of obstructions and sharp projections. Ceilings need to be 8 to 12 feet in height. Door frames should be a minimum of 8 feet high by 4 feet wide. No smoking signs should be posted at all exterior doorways. Sand buckets for cigarette butts should be available at doors. No smoking signs should also be posted in lounges, bathrooms, and in several conspicuous places around the barn. Dry chemical, multi-purpose fire extinguishers with an ABC label should be in all horse barns, workshops, and wherever welding is done. Extinguishers should ideally have the capacity and output capability of 10 pounds recharge all extinguishers once they have been discharged. Fire extinguishers should hang at all exterior doorways, in the middle of long aisles, and next to electrical panel boxes. Signs denoting placement of fire extinguishers should be highly visible, and it's a good idea 
to have routine practice fire drills with farm employees and boarders alike. Aisleways should be free from debris and clutter. Halters and lead shanks should be hung outside each stall door to facilitate easy horse removal in the case of an emergency. Blankets should be hung out of the way, as should other grooming equipment and accessories. Ample approved lighting should be available for maximum visibility around the exterior and throughout the interior of buildings. Light fixtures in stalls should be encased in metal cages to prevent breakage by horses. Wiring and switches should be encased in metal, weatherproof boxes and out of the reach of horses. Stall interiors should be smooth, free of projections and of adequate size for horses to prevent casting. Feed tubs and water buckets should be smooth, clean, securely placed at a proper height to facilitate comfortable eating and drinking without risk of entanglement. Windows need to be inaccessible to horses and covered with bars or heavy gauge metal screening. Ideally, windows in horse barns should be made of safety glass. Areas around vents and fans should be kept clear. Fans should be properly maintained and cleaned frequently. Tack rooms need adequate racks and storage areas to keep equipment off the floor and out of traffic paths. Storage areas should be large enough to keep shovels, pitchforks, manure baskets, and wheelbarrows safely away from animals. Items should be hung so that people cannot strike their heads. Hoses should be hung neatly in wash rack areas so that people and horses do not become entangled. Grooming and wash stalls should be in open areas, clean and well-drained to prevent wet or icy floors. As always, horses should be secured with safe panic or quick release snaps. Emergencies do occur in farm settings. Therefore, all farm employees should be prepared in case of an emergency and know basic first aid. At least one person on the farm should be knowledgeable in advanced first aid and be certified in CPR, cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Because time is of the essence during an emergency situation, emergency phone numbers should be posted by the telephone in large, easy to read lettering. Emergency numbers should include police, fire department, rescue squad, veterinarian, poison control center, and medical doctor. These numbers should be covered with plastic to protect them from dust and water. The emergency numbers board should not be used as a message board because in time, critical numbers will be obscured with lesser important notation. Secondary emergency numbers that should also be kept include farrier, electrical company, plumber, and home and work numbers of all boarders and parents of all riding students who are minors. A well-stocked first aid kit for people should be available in all major buildings and on every farm, vehicle, and tractor. Anytime a first aid kit is used, it should be restocked immediately. A poison first aid kit should be kept in areas where pesticides and herbicides are stored. A Red Cross first aid manual should be readily available in a well-known central location. A well-stocked first aid kit for horses should also be readily available in every barn housing horses. Machinery, power equipment, chemicals, large vehicles and trailers are best stored or parked away from stable areas. Equipment and machinery storage areas should be kept debris free. Chemicals including fuels, pesticides and herbicides should be properly labeled and stored in approved containers. An updated list of all chemicals on the farm should be maintained. The list should include chemical name, date of purchase, place of storage, and amount of chemical stored. Because of the risk of fire, all flammables should be stored in a building away from animals. Before allowing anyone to use a power tool or other piece of machinery or equipment, make sure that person has been trained in the operation of the particular piece of equipment and is fully aware of potential hazards involved. Instructions and operator manuals should be read by all persons using farm machinery and power equipment. 
never permit anyone, including yourself, to operate machinery while under the influence of drugs or alcohol. There is never an exception to this rule. Most riding machinery and tractors are designed for one rider, not two or three. This rule should be strictly enforced. Do not permit anyone to ride on machinery except the driver, because they can easily be thrown or knocked off the vehicle. Persons should not be allowed to ride in the bucket of loaders, on tongues between trucks or tractors and the implement being towed. Riding on a towed implement should be avoided. In instances where riders on an implement are necessary, such as in the case of hay wagons, extra precaution should be taken while towing this farm equipment. All tractors should be equipped with rollover protective structures. Nearly all tractor flips or rollovers without such protection result in fatalities. Most newer tractors come equipped with a factory installed rollover protective structure. Some are designed strictly to shield the operator from the weather. Check with the tractor manufacturer to determine if the cab affords true rollover protection. Whenever parking or leaving a piece of machinery for any length of time, regardless of how short, the motor should always be shut off. Brakes engaged, the transmission in park lock or in gear, keys removed, and any attachments disengaged. Protective clothing should be worn during the operation of farm machinery. Never wear baggy or loose-fitting shirts or pants. Loose clothing is easily caught in rotating machine parts. Protective eye and ear gear should be worn when working around machinery. Safety guards should always be in place when operating any piece of equipment. All farm vehicles traveling on any roadway should be equipped with an approved slow-moving vehicle emblem. Emblems should be placed on all tractors and any implements that will be towed. Terrain should always be taken into consideration when driving farm vehicles. When a tractor's center of gravity moves behind the point where the rear wheels are touching the ground, a flip over is likely. To prevent rolling a tractor, avoid driving on steep slopes, through ditches, and on extremely rough ground at high speeds. When traveling downhill, keep the vehicle in gear. An attractive nuisance is a place or object that poses a safety hazard or liability risk to horse farm owners. Horses themselves are attractive nuisances and all efforts should be made to stable and fence them properly. Machinery and vehicles should be kept away from areas accessible to the public. Keys should be removed from all motorized vehicles and equipment. Ponds, wells, large stock tanks, drainage pits, lagoons, and other attractive nuisance areas should be fenced with lock gates to prevent entry to these areas. It has been the intent of this video to alert horse farm owners, managers, and employees about proper horse farm safety procedures. Rutgers Cooperative Extension certainly hopes that persons working on horse farms or around horses will implement the suggestions made in this farm safety video, which, if followed, will reduce the incidence of accidents as well as reduce the cost of your insurance premiums. Remember, a successful horse farm operation begins with safety.